For this video, we're going to have a look at scanning the medial iliac lymph nodes. Even with modern ultrasound equipment and a bit of practice and good technique and a lean patient, it can be quite hard to spot uh, any lymph nodes. They unfortunately are quite small in most cases uh, and their echogenicity is usually fairly similar to the surrounding tissues, be that muscle or, or mesentery, which can make spotting them quite difficult. Consequently, it's very important to have a good understanding of the anatomical landmarks that we use to find these structures so that you know you're in, in basically the right place before you start trying to actually find the, the organ or the, the lymph node on the screen. There are two groups uh, of lymph nodes that are, are usually present in most animals ultrasonographically, although even those do require a little bit of experience to find and also relatively uh, quality equipment and a lean patient will also help. To find the medial iliac lymph nodes, what we're going to do is start where we were starting before to find our aorta and vena cava. So we find our left kidney, we're going to fan up off the top of the, so the dorsal border of the left kidney, and we're then going to fan back till we find that aorta and vena cava. We're going to get the aorta and vena cava on the screen, and we're going to follow them all the way cordially to the bifurcation like we did before. What we want then to do is to get the bifurcation in the centre of the screen and the medial iliac lymph nodes are going to lie on the outside of the angle of the bifurcation. So if we pause this screen for a minute, what we can see here is we have the Y formed by the external iliac arteries, left and right, bearing in mind that left is towards the top of the screen and right is towards the bottom. So the medial iliac lymph node itself is then going to lie uh, in the angle formed by those two vessels, so by the aorta and the external iliac artery. Those nodes lie laterally and ever so slightly ventrally to the vessels. So sometimes, once you've found the bifurcation, just tiny fanning movements up and down whilst watching the screen can just help you to localise those, uh, those structures. Now bearing in mind that they are usually long and thin and almost the same echogenicity as the surrounding tissue. It can be quite fiddly to find them, but just a little bit of patience and some fanning up and down, and we should be able to see them. If I pause there, we're then able to see at least part of that lymph node on the screen there. Because this is at the top of the screen, this is the left medial iliac lymph node. If we're wanting to scan the right medial iliac lymph node, we can do one of two things. We can either turn the dog over and scan from the other side. So we scan from the right with a dog in left lateral recumbency or we can simply look on this image between the aorta and the vena cava. So if I just unfreeze the image there, again, we can see at the top of the screen, we have aorta uh, on the left, forking into the external iliac arteries left and right on the screen. And then below that, we have the vena cava, which is just being a little bit compressed by my probe there. And the, uh, just there, if I freeze the screen there, we can just see a little bit of their right medial iliac lymph node then appearing between the aorta or the external iliac artery and the vena cava below it. So to scan the right one, we can either turn the dog over or we can just look between those two vessels. So just, let's just do that one more time as a recap. We're going to start longitudinal plane, find our left kidney as we did before, fan dorsally off the dorsal border of the left kidney then fan back gently ventrally again, slowly until we find the aorta, aorta and then vena cava below it. And then we're going to follow those vessels cordially, looking at the screen as we go and making minor adjustments as required so that we don't lose those vessels. And then once we get to the bifurcation, as we've got on the screen here, minor fanning movements up and down. And we should, with a little bit of patience, just be able to locate those lymph nodes and got a decent view of them. We can just make those lymph nodes out there. 